WDC is here for you, and it starts right now. Summer Salsa Showdown today. Kristen's back with us with Culinary Cure to fill our bowl with some fresh options. We get the kids involved in this, maybe at the next cookout. They're going to love it. We're going to love it. This looks so pretty, but I'm going to mess it up in the meantime. <laughs> Just, I'll take it off the back. You won't even be able to see. No time better than now. And we're going to get ready for the next summer cookout. We're going to help the kids out as well. We've got fresh sides, we've got fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. and obviously we've got some great information. Yeah, all the colors, and every party needs plenty of chips and salsa, right? So here with the sweet and the spicy options for the entire family is one of our favorites, Kristen Cofield, founder of The Culinary Cure. Welcome, welcome back. I love salsa, and it's a great way to get kids to eat more antioxidant-rich fruits and vegetables. I'm glad you said that, because it's not just get the kids to eat the fruits and the veggies. You actually have the health benefits that we're going to break down yeah. within it as well. So as you do that, Marissa, we're just going to start to take I've got some samples here. for you there. So we have some samples here, and we'll start with the one right in so front of So the Kristen. first rule of thumb for making a kid-friendly salsa is to put the jalapenos or whatever peppers you're using on the side as an additive that the adults can use to spice up their food but keeping the kids safe from something that's too hot and too spicy. So we've got four different salsas mm. here today. We've got a cucumber mint salsa. We've got a traditional salsa mm -hmm. fresca. We've got a mango salsa with basil. And we have a dessert salsa, which is a strawberry kiwi salsa. Wow. All right, so we, I, we just took a bite of the, and apologizing for the crunches. <laughs> yes, <Did> sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, not sorry. Uh, the, the, the jalapeno and the cucumber, they actually go very well together. You have the sweetness of the cucumber, right. but then just a little bit of heat. Here's your next mm. one. Yeah, this is done. the next one. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about the nutritional benefits we're getting from these two while we're still well, doing our Well, of course, tastings. salsas are very hydrating. And the chips you choose are really important, too. We talked a little bit before the segment that there are some chips that are made using the traditional process of nixtamalization. And it's a way of breaking down the gluten in the corn. It's a traditional way of making chips. So the Siete brand does a beautiful cassava chip that's gluten-free. There's a couple of other chip brands that, that make chips the traditional way. And for anybody who's a little concerned about gluten in their chips, mm. look for that and or the alternatives. That's a good tip. Yeah, and you know, kids love their dippy sauces, mm -hmm. so this is perfect for them. And the pickles, too, to yeah, add to you that. Can, so nice you can touch. dip with veggies, you can dip with chips, you can dip, and these also work as sauces for grilled foods. So I was going to mm. ask you about that because we we want to dip, and we're not going to ignore this one, which I <laughs> Your tasted favorite. earlier, which yeah. was really, really good with the mangoes. But this is what's most interesting yeah. to me, and the reason why is because we see three examples of how we can right. use this here. So tell us first about just the, just the traditional dip that we have. Okay. Well, I love, I love using fruit in a salsa. And again, remember, you can make it hot and spicy by adding, you know, extra jalapeno. Uh, extra but what jalapeno. do you have here to start? So this is strawberries, and the kiwi mm. is what gives it the texture. Okay, so the kiwi's got that sort of jelly-like texture that, that holds the salsa together. Mm. But we've done it three mm. ways. You can use this as the basis for a drink, mm -hmm. non-alcoholic for the kids, add tequila for the adults. There you go. You can use it as a topping for ice cream. Oh, okay. Or... You wow. can make these cinnamon chips and serve it as a dessert dip salsa. You definitely get the, the fruit comes through, Mercy Hero. I'll, oh, I'll give this, you this is as the well. first. I've never had <laughs> strawberry so salsa this is, before. Yeah. This is the salsa just with a little like club just soda? Just with, with some club soda. Yeah. Very And kids tasty. just love to dip. So if you just, even if you just want to make these, it's, you're not having a party, but you want your kids to eat more veggies, whip up a, whip up a salsa Put it in, a, they love little containers, mm -hmm. put it in a little bowl, mm -hmm. give them some cucumbers, some pickles, some, you know, whatever right. veggies Carrots. you've got, and encourage them to dip. I love it. I actually start. could combine ages. these two. I don't. I know. I, I know. You, you almost. Could. I want to. Yeah. And these are super hydrating. But we talked about hydration a little bit earlier on the show when you were talking about the pool mm -hmm. and the importance of being hydrated. So I always want to remind people. I have a 14-day free hydration training on my website at The Culinary Cure. And this is the perfect time of year to get parents and kids hydrated before the weather gets too Absolutely. warm. Absolutely. Get that heat out there and everything else. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. So there you just saw her information. Check it out there. Chris, it's always good to see you. Thank yeah, you for coming thank in you. today. These are actually sweet chips that she paired oh. with it as well. So 
keep in mind multiple opportunities that we yeah. can use here. I'm with you. Put a little of the jalapeno yeah. heat yeah. in there with the strawberry. Mix That's it what up. I call yeah. bomb.com. Yeah. Is that good? All Kristen, right. thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm going to get some more. We'll have much more on the other side of the break with our social scene. I love this. Well, you can take it.